Yes, guys, this is the Maximus. I direct them to some more of the Lunar and Earth shows. One's called Earth Needs Therapy in VR chat. Now, I wanted to do this like when it was like one or whatever. I mean, I was planning on doing this a little bit earlier, but with the with me dealing with allergies and stuff, yeah, it's been making me a little bit drowsy or whatever. But so I'm trying to get this video out to you guys like as quickly as I can. Um. Might not be like exactly an hour from now because I think after I record this video and uh, publish or whatever, I think I might like take a nap or whatever. Just you know, because like last night I did like take a couple of Benadryls and or I did take a little bit of allergy medicine to you know help out with these allergies. I also have a humidifier running as well. Yeah, because allergies are the worst, especially in the fall. Spring, summer, fall, that's when allergies are the worst. Like winter, the only thing that happens is really is you just get runny nose, that's all. Yeah. Two. Here it is. Three, two, one, and here we go. And of course there's another as we start. Three, two, one, and here we go. Cause like, I mean, everyone has like intrusive thoughts at least at some point, including me sometimes. Um, I mean, but like, if you let, if you uh, sit with them for like a little while, you'll know how to deal with it better, you know? Cause yeah, and I mean, like back to the allergy thing. Um, I hope to have these allergies. Uh, gone. Either probably by tomorrow, Monday, or Tuesday. At least sometime next week. Because, like, Saturday, um, I mean, well, here in America, or like, most, like, calendars, or some calendars, uh, Saturday is the last day of the week, whereas in some other countries, Sunday is the last day of the week. So, yeah, but Saturday's a Saturday. <laughs> different body to the point where he can um get taller yeah yeah literally that's not a joke get taller cool oh. i'm not sure if that's much better but sure oh okay ah oh, speaking of yeah how in the world does earth find a place like this um well, that field is very beautiful right i'll be honest I didn't know this was a thing around here. Nope. Yeah, but the only, the only problem is there bees, pollen, all of that. So I'm talking about pollen. You know, flower pollen. I'm not talking about the country Poland. 
that difference. Because <laughs> Poland is a country, I believe. Whereas pollen, or pollen, depending on how you pronounce it, sometimes I pronounce it differently, but it's like worm versus warm. You know? They sound very similar. Sometimes you end up saying the wrong thing, but some people do know what you mean. Uh, you know. Yeah. And, like, you know, I eat. And I don't know if you're gonna hate me for this, but I hate bees. You know? I mean, I don't hate what they do. Like, I mean, I know they, like, get, like, honey and, like, pollinate the flowers and stuff but it's just the reason why I don't like them is because they buzz around you and if they are mad at you for just you know just trying to you know get them away or whatever they sting you I mean, they can only sting you once because after they sting you they technically die it's like a wasp or like a horn or whatever they both can sting you like mold like more than once which is yeah and i live around i live in the woods pretty much so i do get a couple of chromatra bees here and there they don't really sting you unless it's a female but uh, males don't really sting you um but a female will sting you if they think that you're being aggressive you know yeah, that's the whole point with like bees, wasps, hornets. They'll only attack you if they if they feel threatened, or well, in some cases they sing you for no reason. Worry, Bazaar will probably plow it down and put another thing here or something. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if birds also to pay major powers. <laughs> I, I I don't know anything about that. I haven't searched for. Oh, like an earth thunder? Don't talk about their things. My sister said some. A real what? Place. The second I started speaking, I could get taken out of context. Yeah, huh? Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? I'm a searcher. Um, Don't talk about their things. My sister says something. I realized the second I started speaking, I could get taken out of context. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like, literally anything can be taken out of context, technically. It's just like you take like a phrase that like, and it, like you, you take out context to make it like sound like sus or like whatever. Like for example, I did see this one, uh, thing that came out of context and it was like, where he was like, Monty's gator gull, when like someone took out context like saying like, where it sounds like he's saying Monty's gay. And I kind of find that a little, found that a little hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with taking things out of context, but sometimes it be, sometimes it could be risking like that YouTuber, like that like person's reputation, or whatever. Like even if like they, even if everyone knows it's a, even if some people know it's a joke, sometimes people don't take jokes very lightly. Well, it depends on that joke, too. Yeah, huh? Go. Go. Hey, Earth? Hmm? Down here. Oh, hello. Hi, sis. Coming up, don't worry. Any minute. Uh, so, how you doing, Earth? I'm a little confused. I'm on your own here. Wanted to make you feel better somehow. You I'm know? feeling fine. I just wanted some alone time, is all. I figured. Maybe I can play you a song or something. Okay, you'd like to do that? Just that. I've been working on. on I was getting I'm working on a little something. Uh, still, still kind of riding it. Oh, cause I thought it'd make you feel better. You know, you're all sad and all that. Maybe you miss me okay. or something, or you know, you're something all like sad. that. I, I'm fine. I'm really fine. I appreciate you sending me a sad okay. You don't want to hear the song. Well, not right now. I feel like we need to connect perhaps to something for the music to be heard, wouldn't it? It is connected. Yeah, me. Oh, huh. It's really weird how fast. Yeah, it is kind of weird how fast my and works. Yeah, I mean, I guarantee that's what you said. The glam rocks, are the, the, the glam rocks for whatever reason, have built-in speakers. That is weird. Yep. 
Well, I mean, it's sort of, I mean, it's like, we, we get connected to kids and you stick on the intercom for whatever reason. Yes. Sometimes I gotta speak his son because your brother refuses to leave his room. Correct. Spoken to you one time, too. What? Yeah, I mean, what? you were busy. Oh. So I had to, I had to speak. Because I know your voice blocked. I just, I text him, like, hold on, hold on. Give me a sec. I'll just say it real quick what I said. <clears throat> attention, attention, attention. Nobody wants you. Why'd you say that? You asked that fast, or I have no idea what they're doing. That's fun. So you don't want a song, then? I, I, oh, if you're broke, something I'd love to listen to it. Just that now, I don't know. Maybe we can get back? Sure. No problem. Keep the glasses like this, though. What's going on, Earth? Because, uh, Nothing. the equator? What? Well, I don't know. You're sad. I'm, I'm fine. I'm really fine. No, you're not. And this is like the second time I've dealt with either one of you being sad. Not for you, but, uh... I'm sorry I'm depressed. It's just the way he says it. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm depressed. I mean, it's just the way he said it. You know? And so this kind of view kind of reminds me of Michigan a little bit. I mean, because, like, I've been to Michigan a couple times to visit my grandparents. And they had a really big house and a really big yard. And, like, like every single, like, almost every single day that we're that we were there, it was fantastic. It was wow. Every single time we visited Michigan, I would always be excited to visit my grandparents, you know? I'm always excited to like play in the yard, um, play Uno, play air hockey, you know, all of that. Especially watch TV and stuff. It was like, and also playing the piano as well. And I think playing checkers as well was one of the games we played. Also, over there, um, my grandma used to make lots of apple pie when we were in Michigan. It was, it was awesome. Well, I don't really like apple pie, but, you know, I've always had good memories up in Michigan. It was really good. I'm not, I wasn't make, I wasn't making a joke or anything. I was just uh, whatever. We can talk about that then. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to know. I think I do that. You for you. I'm fine. You want to tell me about some stuff like your, your dad programming or you know stuff like that. I don't want to keep bringing up my father. Nothing. Nothing has to do with that. But um, everything is fine on that front. Why does the sun gaze through your leg gaps? Okay. What? I'll get up. Okay. Just tell that you're not acting the way you normally do. Yes. Why? Not something for me to deal with, not you. Okay, then I just shouldn't talk about my own stuff. You're giving counterintuitive advice. I realize that. The difference is, I have nobody else to talk about my feelings to. Well, what? Me? No, my whole job is to be the person people talk to when they're upset, if they have bad if they have anxiety. I don't have anybody for me to talk to about that stuff. I don't feel fair on doing it to you too when you aren't equipped to handle that sort of thing. And I am. So it's okay if I deal with it because I'm equipped to deal with my own thoughts. Has it been working? Well, I've tried a new technique and something else is working where I'm just sitting with my thoughts and my feelings and letting them be so I can experience them, acknowledge that I'm feeling that way and hopefully move on. But it took me a little while for that last part to kick in. As a guy who did most of what you just said, it doesn't work. It works for some people. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it depends on the person, you know, and what they went through. Like, for example, Lunar experienced lots of and lots of trauma. And if you deal with, like, lots of trauma or something that's super duper traumatizing, you know, it can be difficult to get over that, you know? Like, for example, I mean, I know, like, lots of you are 
probably gonna be upset if I mention this, but I think I might say it anyway. When 9-11 happened, I'm pretty sure, like, lots of the survivors, right, well, again, to you, like, the few survivors, or I would say, like, lots of the survivors, I should say, probably were very, very traumatized afterwards, because, like, imagine, like, being, like, in a building that's on fire, like, a terrorist attack or whatever, and you escape a lot. You're going to be very traumatized after that, you know? Or, like, experiencing, like, a world war or something. Or, you know, being, like, one of the guys, like, on the battlefield or something. And you escape alive. You probably are going to be traumatized, you know? Something that, like, usually would involve, like, terrorists or, like, battles or something. And you escape alive. Or, like, anything that, like, is, like, traumatizing to you, it can be hard to get over, you know? And, you know, when you escape a traumatic event in life, you are probably going to be traumatized. It, I mean, sometimes it can be for a long time, sometimes it can take a short while. Well, not exactly a short while, but some time to get over it. Everyone's different, and everyone handles trauma differently than others, you know, some people respond to trauma, you know, and like I said, everyone deals with trauma in different ways, and sometimes dealing with, like, trauma in, like, a couple certain ways is not good, like, for example, uh, suicide, if you have trauma, then some people could be suicidal to that trauma, and and that's not a good way of dealing with the trauma, because dealing with trauma, like with suicide or like killing people or something, is not good, you know? And yeah, trust me, I've had experiences, well, I've had like an experience, sort of, you know, like I said, how my dad committed suicide, because, well, not really because of trauma, but because he was, like, depressed or whatever, and I'm not too sure if this was getting age-restricted or get monetized for me saying that, I'm just bringing, bringing it up because they're talking about, like, therapy and stuff and, like, you know, trauma, but I thought it'd be appropriate to, you know, and in my on daycare attendance series, I'm gonna bring up a lot of those, you know, to, you know, help people out a little bit. Yeah, this video is already gonna be super long, I just know it, but hey. I don't think you're one of them. Well, nothing happened to you here, Sunday. Because you, you like talking to people. Am I wrong? I do enjoy talking to people. Just because we're not trained for it doesn't mean we can't help you. True. Oh. Kind of going a bit steady right now, right? Yes. And, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't have to be a professional to try and be there for you. I'm going to stand real quick. It's you need help. Look away. That's all I can say. It's too, it's too okay. long. That's the first thing. Maybe it's your... What kind of process is it to stand up? Hey, I'm very it's better to not ask. I'm very hot uh, heavy. Okay, so no, I get... All right. Their hair has weight, so it's, it's weird. It's not a lot of weight, but it's been just in my face, so I'm just throwing off all balance. You want to touch? Your head. It's really soft. You want to touch too? I don't even think Me. I'm going to reach it. Me. I can't reach. Here you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, look, I need to be professional about this stuff. If I can't deal with it, then what good is it? Well, I mean, just talking it out sometimes makes it better. I was not going to look that high up. Hey, Flitter. If you could just vent it, I guess. Look, I am programmed to be the best at taking care of people. I take care of people's emotions. And what good is all that programming if I can't even take care of my own emotions? Or just because you're good at taking care of people don't mean you're good at taking care of yourself. I would know that. But that's my whole thing. My whole thing is being good at that. My whole thing is making sure people are safe. And I've already messed that up. Earth. Earth is 
doing a good job. And like, well, from my part, this was um a couple days ago. Um, it was not really from like a teacher, but like an assistant or like an assistant teacher or whatever. Um, and he told me that like drawing and like stuff can like be very therapeutic to people, you know. Like, you know, drawing, painting, journaling, writing, whatever. It's like good therapy, you know. Or like listening to music sometimes. It can be very therapeutic, you know. I do all those things. Not except writing or journaling or painting. I just draw most of the time or listen to music to, you know, kind of help clear my thoughts, you know. Take my mind off of some things and, you know, focus on like other stuff. Oh yeah, and also, during October, I will have a special project, you know. And I know it might, like, delay my, like, current animation animation, but I'm gonna try and get that done as well, you know. I'm gonna try and do both at the same time. Maybe work on some other projects as well, you know, during that. And you're gonna love it, you know. I, at least I hope you guys will love it, because it, you know... And, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's get on to this. You can let promote your emotions just be. You're a person. It's not even just about the emotion. My whole programming is I'm supposed to be good. <laughs> I forget that my hair is always standing in the way. Sorry, you were right. You uh, slap him really hard across the face there. Yeah. No, 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 I, 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 watch your head. Watch him too? Slap. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Soft. I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm here for you, so is your so is Laura and your brother. I'm no, always here for you. Just back up real quick. I'm about to turn away. I don't want to smack you. But my whole thing is that I'm supposed to be programmed to know every first aid scenario. I'm supposed to know every scenario of what to do in this, this a world apocalyptic event, like such as a, a big like a tsunami or an earthquake or a hurricane or a tornado. I'm supposed to know every single procedure of what to do in the game. You know what? Actually, uh, this was last week. Um, last week in school, we had like a safety drill week of like what to do in case like there's like a tornado or like what to do if there, like there's like a wild animal or something like outside of the school or like a threat outside the school or inside the school like of what to do. But, I mean, everyone knows what to do when there's a fire drill, you know? And, like, just a reminder, my high school is three, there's, like, three floors. Um, well, technically four floors if you count the ground level or, like, the, you know, like, below the first floor. And, um, and just a reminder... There's, like, no way of, like, getting to the outside of the third floor unless you use the stairs. But there are some students that can't exactly walk down the stairs. And that's a problem because whenever there is a real fire, a couple of the teachers didn't exactly know what to do in that situation, so. Yeah. Of course, there's another ad. Hold on, I'm like, give me a second, alright, hold on. Actually, there's a couple of ads, hold on, give me a second, alright, three, two, one, and here we go. I was just meant to die, and I would have stood there like a coward. And now 
Oh. Yeah. I mean, my thing is though, Earth doesn't exactly know what to do in that situation, because like, I feel like your little sibling being held hostage, and then, you know, I mean, because like, what does Earth do in that situation? It's like, or it's like, if you go like on like a long break or something, or like, you are like totally burnt out, and then like a fan says like, um, hurry up with it, or I'm gonna dox you or something, cause like, there's like, like, there's, like, some times where that has happened. Not to me, but I'm pretty sure, like, a couple of, like, YouTubers or whatever. Or animators, like. Because, like, animation takes... Because, like, in that situation, you don't know what to do. Because, like, you're totally burnt out. But, like... Because, like, you're in the progress of making an animation. But then, someone's starting to dox you. But, like, it, here's the thing, though. They do end up doxing you or something. Just, like... I would say, like, just let them do it, and then, like, if they do go, if, like, someone does go to your house, like, uninvited or whatever, um, like, saying, like, oh, yeah, I got this, like, address from, like, one of the, like, YouTubers, or, like, one of the users or something, like, at that, at that point, just, like, call the cops or something, like, on, like, that user, or, like, block them or something. But then again, blocking them isn't gonna exactly save you from them doxing you, but, hey. You know, if someone's a certain to dox you or something, I would say probably just call the cops or something, or, I don't know, call somebody that you trust. I would say, more likely the cops, I would say, if someone starts to dox you. Well, the thing is, though, nobody's perfect, you know. That's the thing, though, about life. It's like, you're never really gonna be perfect. But, you're also... Well, nobody's, like, the most beautiful person. No one's the most ugly person. No one's perfect, you know? That's the whole point of life. We're not supposed to be perfect. Like, for example, humanity's not exactly perfect, you know? Because, I mean, if you think of, like, some countries, you know, they're not exactly perfect, like, no country is perfect, nobody's perfect, the world's not perfect, the whole solar system's not perfect, the whole universe isn't perfect, you know? Like, not even, like, every AU is perfect, you know? Not every game is perfect, like, like, think of Security Breach, for example, there were, like, so many bugs in it, but yet people still liked it, you know? Despite all the bugs and, like, the glitches and stuff. And like, for example, like, some people like William Afton, some people don't, you know? Nobody's perfect, you know? Like, for example, like, Isabella from Encanto, she wasn't perfect, cause, well, well, she wasn't, like, perfect, if you get what I'm saying, like, she was, like, rude a lot. I mean, cause, like, if you're rude, someone, that isn't gonna make you 
any better. Like, for example, like some rich people, for example, like think like they're better than everyone else because they got more money. And, like, they're like rude to like lots of people who have like lower money than them. Like, does it make you a better person if you have more money? No. You sure have more money, but you're not a better person sometimes. Not all rich people are like that, you know? Just some. did bring up a good point. Perfection is impossible. You know, well sometimes it depends also how you define perfect if you like think like perfect is like the best thing in the world, you know, like the best thing in the universe, you know, but no one's better than anyone else just because, you know, like, like I just said a couple of minutes ago, like with rich people, like some rich people, but, you know. Yeah, alright, let's watch. I'm alive. So you were hurt, and the person you're cheating on me. I know. But well, I should be telling you all this. I don't yes, want to you feel bad about it. I don't feel bad. I'm, I'm not giving up that respect for And yeah, Monty does bring up a good point, you know? Like, there are some situations, like, that you've never been in before, and you don't exactly know, like, what to do, like, what someone's capable of, you know? So don't under, under don't underestimate people, but don't overestimate them, because, like, just, like, thinking, like, okay, this could happen, this also could happen, you know? Just be prepared for the, you know. You know what they always say? Expect the unexpected a lot. You know, because, like, it can be, like, unexpected to, like, you know, see, like, a fine spray jump scare, but you can be prepared for that jump scare at any time, no matter how long it takes, you know? You know? I mean, I'm not a therapist, but, you know, I can, you know, speak my mind a little bit, because, like, at least in some situations, I wouldn't know what to do. I blame myself for Linda's death. He died in front of me. Tripping past her thought further ahead or something like that. But I realized it was out of my control completely. And I couldn't do anything to save him. All I could do is my best. And you did your best. And I even say, I guess it's all matters. You did your best. Don't go blame yourself. Don't. You're not. You're never going to be perfect. So that's why you're made. The reason you were made isn't what defines you. It's exactly. what you want to make out of your existence. Yes. Since when did I ever think philosophy? What? No, I don't read. We need to work on that. Um, so I don't know if there's any more we can help with that. Because you gotta go through it yourself and close it. That's what I'm trying to do. I know everything you're saying is logical. It's just there's an illogical part of me that's talking all that. I know. The illogical part that I kind of like about you. Really? Your silliness, your fascination with Barbies. More like obsession, actually, but yeah. It's you you're being things. silly. I really appreciate also, if you were perfect, you'd be born. And I take it's fine. Sorry, I won't speak to you again. You should. It's fine. Thank you. Aww. Aww. Wait, what did you say before? Gay. Sorry to move. It's fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's going to be a big request. Bye-bye. Sure. Okay. How about this? Gay. <laughs> Do you think 
Okay. Oh, and she's gonna say, that's a mean thing to say. I didn't mean it in a rude way. Yeah, I mean. I mean, okay, I think some people like say, like, the word gay or like, that's gay or something. Like, sometimes they say it as a joke, not to be rude, you know? Because, like, I mean. Like, some people on the internet these days are a little bit too, like, a little bit too vulnerable on the internet, you know? Cause, like, sometimes they can't take a joke, you know? I mean, at least sometimes I can take a joke, you know? It depends on, like, what the joke is. I mean, I can take most jokes, uh, lightly, you know? Like, for example, like, family guy jokes, I take those very lightly, you know? Because I know it's a cartoon, I know... Uh, Seth MacFarlane, um, makes, like, those, like, jokes or whatever just to be funny and not meant to offend anybody, you know. How about y'all get some ice cream? I'm feeling ice cream. Anyone? Didn't you say there was a question of it? I, I hate you. I like straight to your face, actually. I will grab your snout again. You know I have these grippers. For the love of God, don't say that. I have these grippers. I know how to use them. I'm thinking Cold Stone, Dairy Queen. I like Cold Stone. I want Dairy Queen. I've never been to Cold Stone. I want Dairy well, Sprinkles mixed in. We're going to Cold Stone. Don't they have the toss thing? Uh, they do. They mix it all together and stuff. I was thinking I could get sweet cream or birthday cake mixed with rainbow sprinkles. Nice. That sounds good. There is a point. Just don't jump on I'm okay. Thank you, Walkie. Always. Well, hey, by the way, there, like, Sure, because I don't like that phrase. I mean, yeah, Leonard wasn't really trying to be rude. He was just trying to be funny, I think. And besides, what's gay about this? I mean, I mean, then again, Monty's gender fluid, I would say. Um, but I still refer Monty as he. I mean, I know some of you guys in the comments are like, oh, he's, I don't exactly know what you guys would say, but I know you're like, like, calling Monty a, like a guy is offensive to some of us. Or like, if I say, or like, you know, or like some guys are going to say like, like calling Monty a girl is offensive, or like, it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, some of you can go on with your little fantasies of like, when it comes to like, pronouns and like, neon pronouns and all that. <laughs> you know, don't get offended a lot of times just because you're misgendered, alright? Because like, I mean, this was like a thing like back when I was like younger. Lots of people. Um, when I was like playing on the Xbox a lot, some people thought I was a guy. <laughs> or at least a boy at least. And like I get a couple of questions like saying like are you a guy or a girl? Like like couple I think it was like earlier this week. I was playing VR chat. Like I was playing you know and like someone left me like are you boy or girl and I was like what and they're like yeah you're a girl <laughs> and um yeah <laughs> it's um yeah because like my voice is like a little bit deeper and I think that's why some people like are confused if I'm a girl or a boy and I am a girl I am confirmed I it's com I've confirmed that many times I'm a girl <laughs> you know It's only me that you make it mean. I guess it's a good point. Like a True. Point. I don't know the lingo. Right. <laughs> Forward. Alright, well that's it for this video. So hit the subscribe button and hit the like thing on and come down below to see some more of that Lunar and Earth Show Rex for us. 
and see you guys in the next video. Adios, superstars.